Okay, so the guy passes your guard. You don't want him to hug you. Even if he hugs your neck, I'm going to brace his shoulder and swim my hand through, kind of turning on my side. Now, you're halfway there. My elbow, the more I turn into him, the easier it should be to bring my elbow to the ground. That neutralizes his underhook. Now, I just elbow escape out, like a little elbow escape. Okay. So now, I can control his wrist, or I can grab my foot. At this point, I'm going to stay on his wrist. That's establishing the modified space. And the other thing you do is you can grab your leg here. That kind of helps and prevent, prevents him from posturing up. It's a good little, yeah, good little trick right here to grab the leg. Now, from here, um, the guy decides to step over my foot. One. I go one, two, but even before I do that, step over one time. One, two, three. And I step over. Now, I can end up in the side knot here. Or if he's really slick, end up in the guard here. Went through here, block the bicep, and here. If I end up in the side mount, I end up in the side mount with my head on this side, and I hug his neck, under the arm. One more time. So I establish the modified here. I swim my hand through, elbow escape out, he steps over, and I elevate, hook, hook foot on the ground, and I sweep him over. If I can land to the side mount, great. If I land in the guard, great. Doesn't matter, I'm on top. The second one, or the third one, I should say. What was the third one? Hmm. Yes, he steps over, but now he's heavy. He kind of turns my body. I release the wrist, and I come to the arm. I'm going to modify stage 145. Again, I hook the leg. And from here, same kind of thing. I'm going to pull, lift, lift, and butterfly. So the same kind of thing. I can pull on the shoulder to help me mess up his balance a little bit. So I'm here. I can always pull the shoulder. One, two, back to butterfly. Right this way. Third one. We're here. And I'm able, he, what happens is this. The guy doesn't like this here. Maybe I'm here, controlling his arm. And he doesn't like it, so he decides to pull his arm away and maybe try and hit me. Well, as he pulls his arm away, I pull. Yeah, come back. I'll, I'll do a little bit slower. Man, because of the fact that you're pulling, as he's pulling away, I, I, I pull him, cupping the shoulder. It creates a lot of momentum this way. He has to respect. Foot to the ground, I can block, shirt my hip away, and then both knees shoot inside. Boom. My foot's trapped. Scoot to the side of the trap foot, pull my foot out. I can swing one. So the harder you pull as he pulls away, so like if I'm here and him, steps over, he pulls. And I give him a little elevation. My other foot goes to the ground, and I can block here. Shirt my hip to the side. Now both knees shoot. I can go right here. He wants to work from here, great, strike, whatever. My hands are underneath, his hands are underneath my armpits, so I'm good. Look to the ground, like this one. So, so modify this, yes. From the side. Should I start recording? <laughs>